Hey everybody, it's Tuesday. I'm Matthew Laria, and you're watching the Faith for Life broadcast. Let's pray and release faith over today's broadcast, and then we're going to get right into the Word. Father, we do thank you again today, Lord, for your Word. Lord, we love your Word, and we're asking you today for revelation of it. We're asking you today for grace and help to hear it, to receive it, to put it into practice, and to see it work in our lives, and we do thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, all this week on the broadcast, we're doing a series of teachings entitled, Seek First. And this week on the broadcast, we're learning how vitally important it is that God and His things be first place and first priority in our lives. Now, let's go over to Matthew chapter 6 again, and this is our foundation text for this week on the broadcast. And in verse 33, Jesus said this, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Now, in this chapter, the disciples were worried about what they were going to eat, what they were going to drink, and what they were going to wear. They had concerns. And this is what Jesus told them. He said, if you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all of these things that concern you, I will take care of them for you. They'll be added unto you. And friend, here is a principle that we need to lay hold of on today's broadcast. That him first, God first, is the foundation of being taken care of in your life. What is Jesus telling them in that verse? He's telling them that if you seek the kingdom first, all these things that concern you will be taken care of. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. All these things that concern you will be taken care of. And so how are you going to, and I, how are we going to see to it that God is able to take care of things in our lives? The way that we do it is that we keep Him and His things first place and first priority. And then all the things that concern us, He will take care of. Now, what if you don't seek first the kingdom? What if God and His things are not first place and not first priority in your life? Will all those things be added to them anyway? The answer is no. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Well, if you don't seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, then all those things won't be added to you. All those things that concern you won't be taken care of. And so many things in people's lives are not being taken care of because God is not first. And friend, this is the root of so many problems that so many people are having that God is not first place in their lives. He's not first priority in their lives. And many people are having a lot of problems because he is not first. This is the root to so many problems that so many people are having. God and his things are not first place and they are not a priority in their lives. Now let's go over to Proverbs chapter 13. And I want to look at verse 13 there. And this verse will bring this out even more. Again, many problems that many people are having in their lives have their roots in the reality that God is not first place in their life. And you know, we actually invite problems into our lives when God and His things are not first. Why? Because we are violating the foundational principle of seeing Him take care of us. What is the foundation principle of seeing God take care of us? Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. All these things that concern you will be taken care of. Well, if God is not first, then you are violating that principle, 
And if you violate that principle, then God will not be able to take care of your life. He won't be able to take care of you. He won't be able to take care of things in your life. And friend, if he isn't able to take care of you and, and help you and sustain you, then you're going to have problems in your life. And so one of the best things that you and I can do in our lives is make God first place. Make him and his things first priority because that positions us to have him take care of everything else that concerns us. You know, in Proverbs 13, 13, it says this, Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that fears the commandment shall be rewarded. The Message Bible says this, if Ignore the word and suffer. Honor God's commands and grow rich. Now, what is that revealing to us? If the word of God has no priority in our lives, if it's not first place in our lives, then what we're going to see as a result of that is we're going to see destruction in our lives. But the opposite end of that is if we honor God's commands, like the Message Bible says, or if we fear God's commandment or have respect for God's word and give it place and give it first priority in our lives, then we will be rewarded. The Message Bible says we will grow rich. You see, if we don't make God and His things first place in our lives, what happens is we actually bring destruction upon ourselves. Now, in Proverbs chapter 1 and in verse 24, I want to read you a handful of verses here. The Lord said this, Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man pays attention to it. But you have set at naught, or you have refused all my counsel and would have none of my reproof. What, what are these verses painting the picture of? God and his things have no place and no priority in these people's lives. They're not paying any attention to the Lord. They are refusing his counsel. Why would they do that? Because God has no place. His word, his things have no priority in their lives. They're certainly not first place in their lives. And look what the Lord says in verse 26. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. Verse 27, when your fear comes as desolation and your destruction comes as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They will seek me early, but they shall not find me. Verse 29, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Verse 30, they would have none of my counsel, despise my reproof. Verse 31, therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. You see, it was their choice to not give God first place and first priority in their lives. That was their choice and it was their own way. And God said, you're going to eat the fruit of that way. And what is the fruit of that way? When God is not first place, when he's not fr first priority, we invite destruction and turmoil and distress and problems into our lives. He went on to say in verse 32, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them. Turning away from what? Turning away from the Lord. Turning away from Him and His things, giving them no priority and no place in their lives. And then in verse 33, He said, But whoso hearkens unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Now, they were paying no attention to the Lord. And the reason they weren't is because He is not a priority in their lives. And the result of doing that, the result of not making God first place and not making God priority, the results of that are, are devastating. They're destructive. These people saw destruction come. They saw problems come. They saw turmoil come. And the root of it was that they paid no attention to the Lord. They gave him no place. And so, friend, this happens when God is not first place in a person's life. And being in ministry now for close to 20 years, I see this in people's lives. 
that God has no place in their lives. They can't find time to get to church. They can't find time to read their Bibles. They can't find any time to pray. They're so busy with other things. They can't find time to serve at the church God's called them to do. And so God and His things have no place. They have no priority. And those same people can never seem to get over the hump. They seem to always have problems, um, always face daunting circumstances. And the reason is because as long as God, as long as the kingdom is not first, then you are not in a position where God can take care of things for you in your life. And so if you and I want to get ahead, you know, if we want to be on top and not the bottom, if we want to be above and not beneath, the head and not the tail, and walk in victory, the foundation principle of it is that God and His things have to be first. And here's the reality. If God and His things are first place in your life, there's going to be a lot of problems that you just avoid and never even see. Now, you're not going to avoid every problem or every challenge or attack, but there's a lot of them that you will avoid and miss out on by just making God first place in your life. And here's the reality. Any time we go outside of the Word of God, we are going to have problems. And if God tells us to seek first Him and seek first His kingdom, and we decide that we're not going to do that, we decide that other things are going to be first, then we are going outside of the Word. And if we do that, we are going to have problems. You know, God knows what's best for us. He knows the best way to live. And if He told us to put Him first and put His things first, then when we do that, it is going to benefit us greatly. And if we refuse to do that, then we're going to see the backside of that. We're going to see problem after problem after problem because we are violating the foundational principle to have God take care of things in our life. Come on, if we want to see Him take care of us, if we want to see all these things added to us, like it says in Matthew 6, 33, then the principle is this, God and His things have to be first place. Now, as we're close to today's broadcast, friend, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, the root of so many problems that so many people are having is that God is not first place in their lives. Number two, we actually invite problems into our lives when God and His things are not first. And then number three, anytime we go outside of the Word of God, outside of what God says, we're always going to have problems because He knows what's best. And if He said, seek first His kingdom, then, then that is best. And if we'll do that, then there's a lot of problems that we can just avoid and miss out on completely. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we do thank You again today for Your Word. And Lord, we're asking You to correct us in this area of priorities in this area of seeking first your kingdom. And Lord, if our priorities are out of whack and if we have things in our lives that are ahead of you, Lord, we're asking you to show it to us this week on the broadcast. We want to put you first. We want to put your kingdom first. And Lord, we thank you that, that, that when we do that, all the things that concern us will be taken care of Lord, we do thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Now, don't forget to come back tomorrow for Wednesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. And we're going to continue this series entitled, Seek First. We'll see you then.